Today on the menu is seared salmon with crispy skin, lentils, and a side of broccoli or broccolini. Let's start with the lentils, and to make this really quick and easy, I have some carrots, onion, and celery already chopped. It's called mirepoix, and you can find this. This one is at Trader Joe's, but I think you can find them at other grocery stores as well. Look for some pre-chopped carrot, onion, and celery. And if you don't have that, you can of course do this. Maybe do it as a make-ahead option on Sunday. Chop two carrots, two stalks celery, and a half white onion, and you'll be ready to go. We're also going to need some green lentils. Green or brown will work. We'll need a cup of those. I'm going to turn the heat to about medium high. And we'll add some olive oil in there, about a tablespoon or two, and then our vegetables. And those can just all go in together. So now we're just going to stir this around in the oil and cook until tender, about three or four minutes. Now while that's cooking, we'll prepare our garlic. I've got a few cloves here. And to peel those, I'm just going to use this silicone tube. It makes it so easy. You just pop your garlic right inside and roll that with some pressure and out comes your peeled garlic. Now I'll take our garlic and the garlic press and just press that right in with the veggies there. And then just give that a stir. Pre-chopped veggies is such a time saver. Okay, I'm gonna add some salt to those now and a little bit of pepper. Everything's starting to smell so good already. All right, now for the lentils, we're gonna use green lentils. You can use green or brown. You'll need one cup. So what I'm gonna do is measure out one cup here. And then pour that into this strainer and I'm just gonna rinse the lentils. They can be a little dusty, so you do wanna rinse them before you use them. And now we can add our lentils right to the vegetables there. Next step is four cups water or broth. And I like to use a mix of about two cups broth, chicken or beef, and two cups water. You can change that up however you like. You can use veggie broth if you wanna keep it vegetarian. You could use all broth or some homemade stock would all be lovely. So we'll give this a stir and pour this in. Now I'll grab two cups water and we'll add that to the lentils. Now for extra flavor at this point, I like to add about three slices of ham. And I used to chop up into little pieces and you can certainly do that. Recently, my daughter, for some reason, decided that she didn't like the pieces of ham. She didn't like ham in the lentils. So what I do now is I just put the three pieces of ham in the lentils and it flavors it. And then at the end, you just pop it out. And it's one less thing to chop and you still get really good flavor and nobody has to complain about the ham. So no chopping so far, which is a win for me. Now we'll add a little more salt and pepper here. I'm also going to add two bay leaves and that will add some extra flavor as well. And finally, one tablespoon white balsamic vinegar. And if you don't have white balsamic, you could use another salad vinegar like uh, white wine vinegar, champagne vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Any of those would work. We're just going to do one tablespoon. And that little bit of acid will really bring out all the other flavors. So love that vinegar in there. All right, now we're gonna let this simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the lentils and the vegetables are soft. Now that the lentils are cooking, we're gonna start the salmon. For that, I have a cast iron skillet here. It is not heated, it's a cold skillet. And we'll just season our salmon here with a little salt. Now we're going to put our salmon in a cast iron skillet and I do have a little bit of oil in the bottom there. We're going to just set these in a fairly cold skillet and that will allow the skin to crisp up really nicely. So we're going to turn that to medium heat and let that cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now you can see the salmon starting to get a little opaque there at the bottom and that's exactly what we want. We're just going to press down with our fish spatula here to make sure all the skin is really touching the bottom of the pan there. We've got about two or three more minutes and then we'll give it a flip. All right, looks like the salmon is ready to flip. So we're just going to take a fish spatula here and gently 
flip those over. Looks great. Look at that yummy, crispy skin back there. Looks so good. Make sure it's nice and seasoned. Now we're actually going to turn off the heat and let the salmon finish cooking for about two or three minutes. Just in the residual heat in the pan. Pressing it down can help you get a nice sear on all parts of the top as well. Look at that nice golden crispy skin. It looks so good. And this is just about done. So we'll pop these off here. Looks great. And then add a little pepper to our salmon here. And that is ready to serve. So for the broccolini, I'm gonna heat a big skillet over about medium heat. Then we're gonna add some olive oil to the pan. And if you don't have broccolini, they happen to have this at Trader Joe's, so I grabbed it. But if you don't have it, regular broccoli will work just fine. So I'm gonna just trim this broccolini a little bit on the edges there. And then we'll put this in kind of an even layer in the olive oil there. We're gonna add a nice pinch of kosher salt to that. Now we'll let this cook for about four to five minutes and then we'll toss it around with the olive oil, add some garlic and get some really good flavor going. Now we can give our broccolini a toss here. We've got the nice sear on one side. We'll kind of give it a toss and let the other side get some nice golden color. Now we can add some garlic to that. I'm just going to use my garlic press here again and just squeeze some garlic out onto that broccolini. And then we'll just cook for about six more minutes until the broccoli is nice and tender. All right, sounds like that is done. It is looking great. We'll move our broccoli over to a serving platter here. Yum, this looks so good. We'll add a little extra pepper on top and that is ready to serve. Those look delicious and it smells so good. So for the ham and the lentils, you can just pop that out like I mentioned. It added all the flavor that we need and now we're just, you know, we're done with it. So we can toss that. And same for the bay leaves. You can pull those out as well. The lentils look great on the salmon. You can see that nice crispy skin there, nice and golden. Then we've got our broccolini here, seasoned with garlic, salt and pepper and olive oil. I really hope you get to try these. If you do, let us know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We so appreciate your likes and it means a lot to YouTube as well. That's how they decide who else sees this video. So hit that thumbs up button. It means so much. Also, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. I've got lots more videos coming up with easy recipes just like this and I don't want you to miss any of them. For this recipe and more, check out my website, mariesaba.com. There you can go and print out all of my recipes as PDFs, punch holes in them, put them in a notebook, and make your very own Marie's Kitchen Cookbook for free. My goal is to give you some really easy recipes that turn out great every time so you can build some confidence in the kitchen and feel really inspired to share good food with people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you. Mm -hmm.